Hi friends, Dr. Nancy Trimbley here, putting the power and knowledge of your health into your hands. Today I'm showing you a new technique to release the muscles called the quadratus lumborum in your lower back. These muscles are very difficult to access and it takes a very special massage technique to release them, very specific stretches. And the thing about this muscle is if it's not released, you will never regain your full flexibility as in bending forward uh, to be able to put on your own socks or shoes. And also when these muscles are in spasm and they sit right here on both sides of your spine and they're only about as big as my fist, um, those muscles will create not only back pain, but will mimic sciatic pain. So pain that radiates into your butt, into your hip, even down the back of your leg. These muscles are such a problem with patients coming into our office. And I discovered this new technique and I learned it from somebody and I want to give her full credit. Her name is Sadie Nardini. She does a course on dailyohm.com and it is called Somatic Exercises to Relax and Release. Somatic Exercises to Relax and Release. And the course is something like 15 lessons. She goes through all the muscles from the top of your neck all the way down to your feet. It is a great course. I highly recommend it. I want to share this one piece of the course with you because this is the most pervasive and difficult to manage muscle in the lower back and I see it with so many people. Now this will take you probably about 10 minutes to do and I'm going to not spend 10 minutes on teaching you but I'm going to show you how to do it. You may need to re-watch the video and pause it to go through each step of this. It will involve you to lay on your back. So if that's on your on the floor, great. If you can't get up and down off of the floor, please lay on your bed and do it on your bed. It's not quite as good, but it will get the process started. I'll talk you through this as I go. And um, it does involve, like I said, for you to lay on your back. And what you want to first do is you want to lay on your back with your knees bent, feet are flat. And I want you to just tilt your knees from side to side and I want you to feel that tension in your lower back here and this is one of the stretches that helped me a lot with a very specific muscle that no matter what I did it would cramp on me especially when I got out of the car it was the weirdest thing and this is the only thing that resolved it for me all right so here we go so what you'll do is you'll lay on your back feet flat knees bent and I want you to tilt your pelvis, kind of like the pelvic clock stretch you might be doing that I taught you in other videos. And then I want you to lift your butt only a little bit, about three inches off the floor. And then you're gonna take a full 10 seconds to lower down to the floor. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and I'm all the way down on the floor. You're going to do that three times with that same three inches. Just come up a little bit and then you're going to lower 10 full seconds. This is not easy to do. You have to lower very slowly. So 10 seconds. And as I lower down to the floor, I find I can tilt my pelvis up a little bit more so my back is a little flatter. That's just the first phase. Next, we're gonna come up a little bit more. So I'm squeezing here and at my back. And now I'm about probably six or seven inches off the floor. Same thing from this position. I'm gonna lower down by a count of 10. So that's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and I'm gonna do that three times at that same height. Now once you do these first two rounds, I want you to swing your knees from side to side. And already, even though I'm not doing this exercise properly, because I'm not doing all the sets, I feel a little bit looser here. Then we're gonna continue on. You're gonna raise up even more so my back is flat. Notice my middle back is now off of my mat and 
Some people might call this a bridge pose, but from this position, I'm gonna lower down very slowly to a count of 10, a very slow count of 10. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is a one Mississippi, two Mississippi kind of count to ten. And now I'm down to the floor. My back is a little bit flatter. Three times I will do that. And then after that third time of that one, again, swing your legs from side to side. And then what you want to do, and you want to work yourself up slowly to this, you want to bring your whole body up. So I even have my upper back up off the floor and I want to extend my head back a little bit. So there's a little bit of curve in my neck and I'm going to lower down to a count of 10, a slow count of 10. If you can't get up that high off the floor, don't worry. Don't do it today. Well, maybe try it tomorrow. And as I did that slow, slow count down from 10, and I get my back flat on the floor. Now I can really swing my legs from side to side. So what you want to do is you want to do this every day if possible. And it is amazing the results you will see in just a few days of doing this. So if you're somebody that comes into my office, please impress me by telling me not only did you do this, but what were your results? So I hope that helps. Bye for now.